It's too late to run. Uh oh, they're fusing. Fusion, ha! They've managed to one another. Everyone get back! Oh my god, well, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gold Sun. Fusion Dragon has appeared. Last episode, we defeated these guys, and uh. They turned into something little. Look how tiny we are! We need to run away now! Oh, me? <laughs> this is the Fusion Dragon! Uh, absolutely horrifying. Do not want. Um. Uh, we can use Thor, though. That's that's a good start. I I think we'd be okay to use something here. Please hail. Fusion Dragon, level 39, 5,000 hit points. Um, doesn't drop any gold experience points. Has the ability to use Outer Space, which is his own version of summoning. Uh, Evil Blessing, which can haunt you. Dr uh, Dragon Diver. Which is a unique move he could use as well. Uh, break. Uh, drain Fag, which may heal him. Deadly Gas, which may deadly poison us. Uh, severe Blow, which may bring you down to one hit point. So this guy is freaking serious. And so, yeah, Tatoris and Menardi are now a, a giant two headed dragon. But what part, can, what head controls what body part? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, wow, he actually didn't attack us that turn. He's Luff. I don't think I want to use any more Jin. Garrett's haunted, but we'll. I what? I was thinking of using Tonic, but maybe we'll wait on that for now. It's just attack, actually. Evil blessing. Forty-four. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Luff will seal synergy, which actually may not be a great idea, because that only limits his. Uh, use pool to things that we don't want him to use. There we go, that's one-fifth of his health gone. One- yeah, one-fifth. Let's see what this does. Something is a little bit overpowered sometimes, like, you know, you just say like, 1600 damage in one turn, maybe even more, I don't remember what he did be besides summoning. Uh, Bane? Maybe we should use Vine, actually. Do it for the fine! Do, 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 do it for the fine! We're not gonna use Flash yet. We'll use that for an emergency. Emergencies only. Uh, you know what? There's nothing really to use here. First time Fireball, we use Heat Wave. Once again, the attacks at. We're not gonna bother buffing ourselves because he'll just hit us down again. I think now would be probably a good idea to use Wishwell. Oof. Okay, so he does get one in attack at the very beginning of the turn. I gotta remember that. If anyone's really low health, it might be a good idea to, uh, to use Flash or Granite, depending on what we have in our inventory here. Wow, that was 100 key damage, and yeah, that's pretty good. Flint, Scourge, okay, all attack in. Good, good, good. The synergy Shield's gone. Good, good. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure we can inflict Venom on him. So we're not gonna bother wasting time with that. Torch comes back in two turns. Torch, we switching them. Ooh, Evan's kind of low in health here. Uh, please wish well. You see, wish kind of completely. Sorry, I punched my mic. Wish kind of completely gets rid of the want to ever use fly because it's like, why heal one person 200 HP when you heal everyone 160? And I'll just kind of. Oh, there's there's what haunting does. All our space. <laughs> It's the meteor spell, the meteor summon, except he is the meteor! So this is gonna suck a lot. 158, 180, wow, we didn't die. Ooh, ooh. Are you kidding me? He's not supposed to do that twice. Oh, some Ivan's dead. Garen might be dead. Yep. Alright, uh. Yeah, that sucks a lot, actually. Isaac does not have the ability to cure. I'm gonna cure you. Ah, uh, if only I had the. Ooh, flash! Perfect. Okay, uh, hold on a second here. What's actually. How many turns? Two turns do we have the ability to, uh, revive. So we're just gonna survive two turns here. Flash! Yeah. And then we'll, uh, wish well. 
could have used Quartz as well, I suppose. You know what? No, I think it's important to heal Garrett, though. Yeah, that's probably the better call here. Yeah. Yeah, it has a lot. Oh, are you kidding me again? I really gonna start skipping this animation. Oh, if he uses it again, I'm gonna be pretty angry about that. Oh, but we have Flash on yet. Oh my, look at that! That is a very small. He doesn't have like a synergy seal, so it's only he has like a very limited pool of moves he can use. Unbelievable, man. That sucks. Oh, we do have revive now. Okay, good. Thank God. Woo! Uh, Torch. I think we might just start using level three summons. Uh, we're gonna wish well again because he does get an attack in before. Oh, I just faster than him now. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're just gonna start using level three. Uh, summons just because um, the less gin, the more gin we have on standby. I think I haven't seen this yet. Dragon Diver. Bit of a weird animation. That was kind of weird. That's also kind of like a summon. That's like Tiamat, to be honest. Like, wow, again? Come on, man. He's really trying to kill me. Good on ya. Ground him. I should use, you know what? Let's use Bane. I was born in the darkness, noted by it. Uh, hopefully we're fast enough. No, we use Proc me. Oh god, this actually might have been a bad idea. 545 damage, wow. The very first time I defeated this guy. Oh, thank god, we're faster. Okay, good. Oh, I think it's because we used Vine earlier. The very first time I remember I defeated this, Ivan was the only one left alive. He only had like 50 health or something left. Oh, here we go again. Great. Ivan has 243 health. That's not good. Don't you dare do it again. Okay, evil blessing. I'll take it. I'll take it. You just feel good scared again? <laughs> He's the one that keeps... Uh, let's use Granite. Oh no, but we can summon. Okay, let's use Cybel. Garrett. We'll use, you know what, we'll use Corona Booster Defense, even though that probably won't last very long, that's okay. Squall! Squall! And wish well. I want to use Spritz, but that heals less. Does he attack twice in a row? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. I want to use Spritz, but that will probably heal much less, and I'd rather not mess around with this guy. There we go, we got him. I love that noise he makes. Also, this background. That background, though, amazing, I love it. So, at the beginning of this, right before we fought um, them, by the way, Satoru's Amenity made mention that Earth and uh, Fire have a symbiotic relationship. I didn't understand as a kid, what I, from what I gather, um, the symbiotic relationship is just that Fire burns Earth, so Earth gives power to Fire, that's why, you know, Fire is super effective against Earth, typically, and oddly enough, there's no experience or anything. How, how did we lose? We were superior in every way, but we were still defeated. And they just straight up die, most likely. There are theories out there that they live. We did it! We won! <laughs> we beat them, but have we really won? Nope, Felix wants to light the lighthouses. All the efforts were for naught. What are you talking about? We did everything we could. Sure, we couldn't save the Venus lighthouse, but... Uh, we beat them! They're gone! You saw them fall down into the pits? Yeah, but we didn't see them actually die. So we don't have any... So we don't have to worry about any more of the beacons being lit. But Felix is gone and he's taking Chiba. Oh, Mia sees something. What do you see, young Miss Mia? What's with you guys? Isaac, what are you looking at? <gasps> Felix! What? Did you finish them? No one knew their power better than I did if you destroyed them. By the way, the music that's playing right now, if we didn't pick up that synergy stone, Bobby's Palace music would be playing right now. Weird. And I'm no match for you, Isaac. I must go. Come, Shiba. Wait, Felix. Why do you run from us? They fell into the lighthouse. It's all over. We're fools. If you think it's over, you're sadly mistaken. If you plan to light the other beacons, you will still need the elemental stars? We have them! That's not true, you have one of them. You have the Jupiter star, we have the Mars star. They're, they're gone, Felix! You don't have to light the beacons anymore! Yes, I do. If I don't light the beacons... What will happen? 
It's no use talking about it. Just wait and see. Where's Alex in all this? Huh. And Crane and Jenna. Well, I know Jenna's at least at the ship. Wherever that is. At ID Gemma. If you don't release Shiba, we'll have to take her back. Well. Oh my god! Well, store some energy. Didn't die yet. I'm gonna assume that explosion probably finished them off. So. The lighthouse! Isaac, they're too far away, we can't reach Felix! That's not all! There's light coming from down below! Whoa, I don't float there for a second. And... with that... Venus Lighthouse has now been lit. No! Shiba! Hold on, Shiba, take my hand! I, I can't! You must try, if you don't, you'll fall! Look down. The foundations of the lighthouse are crumbling. Uh-oh. Rot already. Why is this happening? Is it to protect the Venus lighthouse? I'm slipping. I can't hold on any longer. No, don't let go. You can't. You'll... Goodbye, Felix, and thank you. Shiva! No! I won't let you die! Swan dive. <gasps> That's weird. Isaac's portrait. I don't. It, it's scaring me. Shiva fell after that last tremor. Felix didn't dive into the sea after her, did he? The sea? I don't saw ground down there. I can't believe he did that from so high up! Weird he wants to protect her so much. You idiot, Felix! I can't believe he said he'd light the other beacons! We would have had to fight him if it, this didn't happen. Wow, I like had a stroke there. <laughs> but he sacrificed himself to save Sheba. He's not like Saturus. What a loss, Isaac. We have to decide what to do next. What to do? What can we do? What about Jenna and the others at ID Gemma? Take a look at the beacon, by the way. It's green. Not the color you would expect. You expect it to be gold. Like the elemental star was gold. This lighthouse is very like beigey, kind of like yellowy. Yeah, I completely forgot about Jenna. How dare you, Garrett? Isaac, listen up. We gotta find Jenna. Look at that, Isaac. <laughs> look at that. Isaac has finally come back to his senses. Should we go find Jenna and the others right away? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What time you started agreeing with me? Well, you, you said this line already, Garrett. First of all, Samuel, well, I've been agreeing with you most times. Isaac, you have to tell Jenna about Felix. And it'll be hard, but you have, you'll be there to comfort her. Yeah, no kidding. Jenna thought her brother was dead. Three years later, he shows up, and then he dies again. What's the matter, Garrett? I was just thinking. How long are we supposed to get down? Good point. This is going to make leaving very difficult. <laughs> it's back to normal! That was odd, what's going on around here? I don't think we'll ever know. At least now we could go search for Jenna and the others. Alright, let's go Isaac, it's time to find Jenna. Um, about that, the whole lighthouse tape tearing apart. There is no real explanation for that ever. The most, like, kind of popular theory is the only reason it does that is for the beacon to fit through. That's kind of a boring theory, but despite a long and tiring search, Jenna was nowhere to be found. I always forget about this section of the game. How the search for Shiba turned out. We were unable to find any sign of her. Seas are too rough to search. There's no sign of her on land. Toby was responsible for Shiva's fate. No apology can reflect the sorrow I fear feel for your loss, Farron. All we could, all we could do for Shiva now is hope. But tell me, what of Jenna and the others? No, Chuck Tessa. The same. We've been searching all over, but they're nowhere to be found. The ground tore apart from the shock of the lighthouse and the ship. 
Apparently, everything at Ajijema, including the ship, was swept away. In case you guys are wondering, Ajijema is actually, if you remember back, when, we're, when after we traveled through Sahala Desert, um, we got to a little area, the Sahala Gate, and then there's that little cave that led to a little ship that uh, Iodem gave us an orb to try and use. That was Ajijema. So, Ajijema itself was washed out to sea? I, I guess so. Incredible! And the cave too has been flooded? We think Jen and the others are still alive. May have been washed out to sea with Ajijema. We have decided to continue searching for Jenna. How about we, Isaac? Duh! Seems like the only thing we can do now. Do not worry about Shiba. I just hope you find you're able to find Jenna. We will find Shiba without fail. Shiba has been in dangerous situations before and lived. This time, I believe is nothing short of a miracle. Who knew the sea would rise up to the lighthouse just as she fell? Do you really call that a miracle? Well, it saved her, didn't it? Well, at least so we think. Do you think it was just good luck? Let's call it a mere coincidence for now. Nothing is coincidental when it comes to this child. It's weird that they are assuming she's just alive, though. So you believe Shiba survived? Yes, I'm sure of it. Just because Shiba was an adept? An adept? What is that? Oh, it's a long story. Well, it's... Some with abilities like theirs. Isaac, you and your friends are truly amazing. Oh, stop it, you. We were able to, you were able to enter the ancient ruins to get to Venus Lighthouse. But Shiba was different. She couldn't enter the ruins. It's because Shiba's abilities are different from theirs. No matter how many times I explain that to Farron, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Garrett, don't be rude. Unfortunately, we don't have time to talk. We've gotta go. That's right. I didn't mean to keep you. That didn't come out, right? We mean that while we're talking... We mean that while we're talking, Jen and the others are lost at sea. I understand your desire to leave as soon as possible. The seas have been very rough since the beacon was lit. Be careful. You too. Farewell. Take care and farewell. Thank you very much. I hope your search for Shiba yields success. That we're back in level zero. Weird. Um. Oh man, what was I gonna say? Oh wait. Well, we could probably talk to him from here. We'll find Jenna someday. Farewell. Uh, let's do this. I highly, highly doubt there's gonna be anything left in these areas, but we're gonna probably take a look too. Oops. Farewell. There's some people like Isaac and, and his friends in Angara. If only I were a little younger, I'd go to Angara. Please wait for me outside Farron's house. I wish to speak to you. Hmm. I must explain their promise to Lord Bobby before it's too late. Farron says, knowing her power, she was alive without a doubt. But he can't. Uh, but I can't be as sure as Farron until I see her. I don't need fame or fortune. I just want Shiba to be safe. Shiba, you're leaving it after all, aren't you? You're welcome, to Lavero, anytime. Why won't anyone stop rising his friends from leaving us? <laughs> see the lighthouse crumble down. That's as it should be. Really, the lighthouse collapsed. Tell me is to be blamed for what happened to Shiba. Toby should be cursed and destroyed. Oh god, that's... Sounds not good. Guards are back here. Where are you going, Isaac? You don't ask us to wait. Did you forget? No. I just don't care about that guy. I know we need to leave, but we should hear what Yudam has to say. We can delay our departure a little longer. Let's wait. There we go. Thank you for waiting for me. As you are no doubt guessed, I need to speak with you about Lemuria. Yes, the island of the ancients far out at sea. When you could not find Jenna, you returned to Venus Lighthouse. Yeah, the base of the lighthouse was flooded, so we couldn't get out. That's when you gazed out to sea, as you promised Babby you would. Yes, and we saw an area wrapped in mist. I remembered how Lord how Babby said Lemuria was always covered in mist. How mysterious. I'm not sure, but I'm beginning to think that maybe Lemuria. If it is, then Bobby's life 
Can we save? Yes. Then I guess we have no choice but to go. Sounds good to me. Good, then it's settled. I'll make arrangements for you to leave at once. But we have to find Jenna first. That is the other reason I wanted to see you. To give you this. You didn't take out the black orb. <gasps> the black orb again. Oh, isn't that? You'll need to sail Bobby's ship. I thought the ship we saw at Adijemo was Bobby's. The ship is here in Lalavero. <gasps> so the ship at Peninsula was Satoshi's ship. Perhaps we have no way of finding that out now. Yes, they're gone. But now we can sail the ship of the ancients. It, is, it certainly will aid us in the search for Jenna. Bobby told me the ship of the ancients is an incredible vessel. I'll make a search for Jenna easier. We appreciate it. But I want you to find Lemuria as soon as possible. We promised, we promised Bobby we'd find Lemuria. We will not fail him. Or will you? As I got the black arm. Whoa! The ship is docked at the edge of town. You'll know it when you see it. Farewell, and bring back news of Lemuria. Bye. Rain on Isaac, we finally get to go to the ocean. To see we go. It is time to depart. Hey, so I apologize in advance, this episode's probably very long. Use that ship to find Lemuria, the land that Lord Bobby sought. Isaac, that book belongs to you now. Do not hesitate to use it any way you wish. Yay, we have a ship. Holy ship. This lady has to jump across this river every time she wants to get across. <laughs> the explosion of the Venus Reunions caused Babylon has to crumble. The works of man can never be withstand such mystical power. The item of Toby doesn't seem too disappointed about Bobby Lighthouse. It must have just been another way of that tyrant Bobby. How's the tribe out here? Where are you going? Aren't we taking Bobby's ship? Then we should head for that wharf the soldiers in town are guarding. Haha, <laughs> I thought they had done me in for sure, but I'm all better now. I'm all healed now, but I lost my confidence after being beaten. Even after I return to Toby, I'll never fight again. I'll never let my guard down again. We'll be the ones to protect Lalavero La from danger. <laughs> you should probably talk to your buddy about that. I want to be a part of the battle at Venus Lighthouse. <laughs> Are you going to leave? La Are you leaving Lalavero? La La I do not know where you're headed, but wherever it is, you will be fine. <laughs> after everything that's happened, Lalavero La no longer feels safe. Oh, I'm sure you're fine. She would jump to the ocean from the top of the lighthouse. Unbelievable! She would be fine even after falling for this. Wow, it's crazy how like how much faith these people all have in Sheila. I saw the beacon of Venus Lighthouse light up. It was one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Destruction is a beautiful thing. Venus Lighthouse has been the symbol of Olivero since the olden days. The lighting of the beacon may be a sign of good things to come. Well, at least this guy's, you know, positive. I can't believe you escaped Venus Lighthouse. What? The tunnel of the lighthouse is now flooded? So that's how you came back, huh? Venus Lighthouse is still standing strong despite what happened. It must have been built by the gods. Oh, so once it had collapsed. Get conflicting information. Who she would be now? I'm so worried. She would use her great powers and she must still be alive, but suffering in such rough seas must be very difficult. The trespassing danger lies beyond this point. If you defeat that evil bunch, you must be mighty warriors! You must be great warriors to defeat them. Can I become your apprentice? <laughs> no. Uh, that's the way out here. I have to see what everyone says. I'm sorry. This is the end of the game. Let's, let's see here. Everyone says that she was okay. Is that true? I don't know. If she's indeed the child of God, she will survive. I realized how thoughtless I was when that one will happen. All of her will need Shiva. We want to believe in something at a time like this. If we had Shiva now, I could have relied on her. Okay, I figured that would say the same. It's funny how the happy music is playing. It's playing some Lumpa too. Did I buy stuff? No way! I highly doubt anything unlocks here. <laughs> no. There's nothing in here, but this is the last time we'll see this stuff. That's a lot of pages, man. <gasps> Excuse me, I'm all burpy. Uh, it actually might be a smart idea to buy back the turtle boots. I'm gonna buy the turtle boots. I don't wanna equip them. Just because they might be useful down the line for other RNG stuff um, in future. In the future. The peninsula behind Venus Lighthouse is flooded. The powers of the ancients are. Yes! They're all so fierce. The ocean is so rough since Peninsula is washed away. They say that strange events invites another theme to a great disaster. And that guy's not as positive as the other guy. I went to the ocean to look for Shiva today, but it was so rough. No one could possibly swim in an ocean that rough. We wanted to send ships out 
to see to find shit we can't yet. The ships were all capsized in the rough water. I wonder why the waters are all rough. I'm really wishing to become calmer. Yeah, it's because it has something to do with the Venus I have sliding. Alright, we were in that house already. What about the sound? I talk to you? Yeah. I don't understand why the old lady says, oh, so that's how you go back through the flooded tunnels. But, like, how to get back through the flooded tunnels are flooded. <laughs> the other house was struck down just as I knew it would be. First lighthouse was struck down, next Babby himself will be punished. Oh, actually, we can repel evil. She goes, fear none. Wait, what? Fine then, everyone's healed apparently. Great. Except only kind of. Great, good job. <laughs> Item shop lady. It's impossible to go out in the ocean now. Be careful when you do. The Champa who rule the seas are a frightful people. Beware the Champa. That's the first time we've heard of them. That's cool. I didn't realize they didn't mention them in this game. The Champa are people from a coastal village in Angera. Well, I don't remember ever coming across them. Shiba should be fine. She was fine when she fell from the sky. The higher light house is nothing. Early. That's a good point, actually. Seeing Shiba dive must have been beautiful. What? Beautiful is a weird word to use for her falling to her, her potential death. Shiba will awake when the beacon lighthouse is lit. Then La Lavera will be free from Toby's grip. I can't wait until Shiba's back. All all of her is awaiting her return. We, uh, we find her. I mean, if she's out in the ocean somewhere, Felix will probably be with her. If he's alive, even. Who even knows? I mean, I obviously do know, but... The well, house crumbled when all the land shook. No one could enter now because it was too dangerous inside. Will they continue on or quit now the Bobby Lighthouse is crumbled? Nope, they will quit since we know where Lumeria is now. So, the ruins really are connected to Venus House. I knew it! But Shiba said it was true. I can't possibly dig a hole from here to Venus Lighthouse. Must have been very difficult for those who made this tunnel. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this guy's still napping. I just wanted a break, but being on vacation all the time is no fun. I disagree. I'm worried that we won't get paid now that the construction's ended. Probably not. We finally solved the mystery of the ruins. I had no idea the ruins were coming to Venus Lighthouse. The mystery of the ruins should have been remained a mystery. Yeah, no kidding. It's weird that the ruins do connect to Venus House because that's a long path between them, you know? Alright, two more houses to go here, then we'll be out of here. I didn't know that I at the time, but that loud noise was the sound of the beacon being lit. The inn guests all became scared and ran outside. Why would lighting in the lighthouse make such a loud noise? What was that noise? Was that the noise of that starlight thing above the lighthouse? I must say it is nice to see the light of the beacon at night. That would look pretty, wouldn't it? I'm sleepy. These bright nights have been keeping me up late. Oh, you really flip flop on your stance there, didn't you? Fishing is so difficult nowadays because the ocean is so rough. Yeah, little to cook when we can't when we can't fish. It's, that's no good for us. Gee, when am I gonna cook for dinner tonight? Good point. I guess anything that relies on fish is gonna have a hard time if all the seas are rough. Hopefully that subsides soon. Who knows how much time has passed since the lighthouse has been lit? I mean, long enough for Isaac to explore and try to find Jenna, probably multiple times. But I'm to those living on the other side of the lighthouse. Lucky that we live north of the lighthouse. If we didn't, we wouldn't have made it. Yeah, they had a mountain protecting them, really. The continent broke apart around the lighthouse and the lands beyond it. We're now free from the continent of Gondwin. Will they ever return? Hmm. I shudder to think what would happen if our town was washed out to sea. Alright, there we go. I'll still let you go in if you show up. The door's open. Apparently, a ship has been docked here all this time. It must be a very special ship. It sure seems like a strange place for Bobby to moor his yacht. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this stuff. But, you know me. I will not be satisfied until I check them all. Chick went here, hey! No, 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 no! It's underwater. It's weird that these are always underwater. So, you wanna go to your inventory here? What would happen if my inventory was completely filled? I don't know. Let's actually save here real quick. Let's save here, just in case there's something I miss and I wanna go back. In fact, there are some things I'm gonna wanna do. Um, this is not the last episode. I'm gonna do a couple bonus episodes, one or two. There's a battle mode in this game I have yet to ever check out on the Let's Play. And there's also... Um, I also would like to do a glitch episode of this game, I think. I'm more familiar with glitches from Golden Sun 2, but I'm gonna try and figure out stuff for this one. 
Ooh, look at like, the claws there. Weird. It looks like it's finally time to leave Gondolin. We haven't been here that long. It's so strange. We've been traveling for so long, and yet it feels like we've only just begun. When I think about it, so many things have happened. <laughs> Let's all look back and reflect. Their journey will be over as soon as we find Jenna, right? Uh, yeah, maybe? The end of one journey, but the beginning of another? No way! You didn't forget, did you, Garrett? There's Shiba, if we could find her. I promised the Bobby. Oh yeah, Lemuria, I actually did forget. <laughs> oh, Lemuria! God damn, I'm the Garrett. I am Garrett. I wonder what kind of place Lemuria is. Me too, me too, Ivan. We have to find Jenna before we go to Lemuria, don't we? Yes! Yeah, that's important. No kidding. At any rate, this will be our first time in the ocean. So this is the ocean Crane wanted me to see. These seas are very rough. Do you think we'll be okay? I'm sure we'll be fine. Look at the blue light to like our right here. That's cool. This is the main ship. We'll be fine. Well, shall we then? Hey, shall we then? I didn't even talk like that to see. She was waiting for us. I really wish we could actually explore the ship. A little more, because it looks so cool. One last look back. No Kergal sailing the ocean song, unfortunately. Oh, okay, we do get a good look at the ship. No sails, weird. Well, sun staff credits. That's it, we guys. We have beaten the game. <sighs> Golden Sun is one of my favorite time games of all time. Um, I have played this game for 15 years now. I got it for my 17th. Uh, sorry, my seventh birthday. I just turned 22, April 1st. Uh, so by the time this comes out, that'll be a couple months down the line. But over. Wow, man, over 15 years have passed since I first played this game. And uh, this game is my Ocarina of Time. A lot of people talk about how like, Ocarina of Time is their favorite game from their childhood. Well, I never had an N64. I had a Game Boy Advance instead. And uh, this is the game I play all the time. So what people think of Ocarina of Time, I probably have the exact same feelings for this game. Um, I love this game to death. A little bit cheesy. Uh, a little bit straightforward with the whole bad guys stole the things, we gotta chase them. But I do like the, how in-depth everything is. This game is revered as one of the best Game Boy games. And uh, yeah, I definitely agree. It's really good, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna do... There's, there's an entire uh, section of the game that I haven't really checked out, but you access it through the main menu. And it's called Battle Mode, and uh, we'll get more into that later. I do plan on doing a glitch episode, we'll probably combine those two, so it'll probably be one episode um, of battle mode and also any glitches I can find. If there aren't even much for glitches I can find, I don't even know, I, there should be, I know there's at least a few things, like heck, I can even say one right now. If you hold L and R when you select your game file, when you load the game, it'll reload you in the to the closest healer. Ooh, cool. That's not a glitch, really, but it's like a glitches and like extra stuff. There's Colosso. My favorite parts of the game would definitely be like I've Caragol Sea. I like that area a lot. I think it's just really fun being on a ship and like, you know, having like a crew and you get to see like all the cutscenes of them all working together and the monsters and stuff. Um, is there any areas I didn't like? I guess the move, like, really, just some of the puzzles that require using a lot of synergy. Or, like, not even like that, but I guess, like, puzzles where it's, like, really obvious. Like, you gotta, like, oh, you gotta move these carry stones over here and place them on this scale. But you gotta, like, move in a bunch, and it takes forever to get it from one side of the room to another. I guess another example would be that one, uh, that one room with the, um, the electrical current that we gotta place the four blocks, and then the current goes. Like, that one, like, the bigger puzzle of that. Like, that was annoying the point where I had to fast forward it. Um, yeah, but overall still a fantastic game. I love it to death. Uh, I will not, a lot of times, oh, we're at the end. A lot of times when I do games like this, I'll take a break between it and doing the next one. I will be doing Golden Sun 2 right after this. After the bonus episode anyways. Do, do, do I press anything? No. But wait. 
Save your adventure! Can you resume your adventure with this data? Choose carefully. Yeah, okay, I'm glad I actually did. I'm gonna save it here. My practice file that I guess I don't really have a point for anymore. But wait! There's more! <gasps> what is this? It's a fish! I don't know. <laughs> Jenna Creighton in a really gross looking yellow pukey background. Green, yellow. Oh, Creighton, how long will this island continue to drift? I don't know. I wish you could tell me. Sheesh, you know how times like this. Hey, I'm hungry. Oh god, are they gonna start eating each other? What do you think about food? That's a valid thing to think about. I what happened to my brother? Can't be certain, but it looks like they let the Venus beacon. You don't have to tell me that. That's how you wind up adrift at sea, right? At least the ship's still there, that's good. You're so cranky today, Jenna. Well, I suppose you must be worried about Felix. Yeah, he could be dead. Isaac and his friends must have been nearby too. They probably were. I miss them. Isaac, Felix. <gasps> That's where Alex was. There's something I wish to show you. Walk this way. Walk this way! Walk this way! So pixelated. Gugh. <gasps> oh my god. Felix Sheba! Felix Sheba! They, they're alive! They're alive! What is this, Alex? What happened? Oh, it looks like we have our party right there. The party that will face our own. Felix, Jenna the fire, Sheba the winds, Alex the water man. Golden Sun to be continued very, very soon. And just like that, it shites. So, after you complete a game, we're almost at 40 minutes here, good god, man. Uh, you'll see clear data here. Oh, there's actually a thing we gotta hold. Um, just to quickly show you out here. This is the lobby for the battle mode, so it's relatively large here. There's quite a lot going on. So, uh, next episode, and, oh yeah, I forgot about this, your party member is actually apart from you, right? But you also have still access to them. Next episode, we'll talk about battle mode, so I'll see you guys then! Next bonus episode, I guess, and then we'll go into Golden Sun 2! I will talk to you guys later, thank you so much for watching! I really wish I knew how to... Just wait, the, hold on, hold on, there's something I gotta check here. Alright, so I'm quickly restarting the game here. If you hold left on the D-pad and the R button, I had to look this up, I don't know why they made this so difficult, and then press A, so R and left. And it allows this to show up, send. And uh, anything you've any of your clear data, you get to click A on it, and you get the ability to use either a Game Boy cable, which I do have actually, but I'm not playing on a Sonic Game Boy Advance, so I will have to do it the other way. Passwords. These things suck. Uh, depending on which level password to use, say so this is give you a level in Jin. Um, it'll change what stuff you have. So character stats and items and coins. Look at this garbage. Six pages of these random characters. It sucks a lot. It is very vital and important though that we actually do this one. So that's the hell I'm gonna have to go to and inputting this password later on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Gold Sun, once again, leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what you think of the series. If you watch it, if you just kind of lurked in the background, if you watch a couple episodes here and there, let me know what you think. Um, I'll talk to you guys later, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye!